Hello everyone, my name is Miss Cheryl and I am a volunteer with Health for Youth. Today we are going to have a virtual story reading. Now, lately we have been hearing the word virtual this and virtual that a lot. What does that mean? That simply means we are going to tell a story online since we cannot get together in the libraries, in school and other institutions to do it together. So, without further ado, let's begin our virtual story time. We are going to read a little, sing a little, and talk a little. And that's going to be fun. Parents, you are welcome to join in. Now, this story time is geared for ch toddlers and young children, young readers. But when you sit in, you can get pointers of what you can do with your kids. So let's start off by me letting you know that singing is important because it slows down language and that's important to children because it helps them hear words clearer. So let's start off by singing a hello song and you can join in following my lead. Are we ready? Hello everyone, how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everyone, how are you? How are you today? Hello everyone, clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Hello everyone, clap your hands, clap your hands today. Hello everyone, stamp your feet. Stamp your feet, stamp your feet. Hello everyone, stamp your feet, stamp your feet today. Very good. Kids, I love it, I love it. I see you all really enjoyed it, which tells me you love singing. So how about we sing another song? How about we sing our ABCs? Are you ready? Join me with Miss Cheryl and sing along. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C's. Next time won't you sing with me? Wasn't that fun? Now, let's sing it one more time. And this time, Miss Cheryl will use egg shakers, which are just a dollar in the dollar store. And parents, you can add rice and beans with it. Because singing really makes children happy. So if you're ready, let's sing in our ABCs one more time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C's. Next time, won't you sing with me? So we see how we can make reading fun. Then next, we are going to sing another song. And kids, you can tell me what you would like to sing next. I heard many different voices, but the song that was clearest was Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So let's sing it together. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Very, very, very good. You all truly enjoy singing. So now how about we read a story together? 
and when I ask you the question, I want an answer. If you're ready for a story, wave your arm. If you're ready for a story, wave your arm. If you're ready for a story, really ready for a story. If you're ready for a story, raise your hand. If you're ready for a story, say I do, I do. If you're ready for a story, say I do, I do. If you're ready for a story, really ready for a story. If you're ready for a story, say I do, I do. That was amazing. I saw all the hands raised and I heard a lot of I do's. That means you are smart children, and reading is important. It's the foundation of children early learning. The more they read, the more they understand words, and the more they learn. So today, before we start our story, I want to see if you can identify these objects I'm about to point out to you. Does anyone know what this is? No? Well, this is Miss Cheryl's version of a punctuation mark. How about this? Yes, it's a question mark. And what about this? It's the sun? No, it's not the sun. It's a big period for you to see. Now, what about this? This is my Cheryl version of a comma. And finally, what do you think this is? Yes, it's an exclamation mark or point as sometimes it's called. So, our story today is called Punctuation Takes a Vacation. And let's read. And when we read, Miss Cheryl will ask you some question. But the question doesn't come yet. And before Miss Cheryl starts the story, she has to give credit to the author. The author is the person who reads, who writes the story. And this story was written by Robin Pulver, and the pictures you are going to see were, written, were drawn by Lynn Rowe Reed. Are we ready for our story? Punctuation takes a vacation. Day after day, the punctuation marks showed up in Mr. Wright's classroom. Day after day, they did their job. They put up with being erased and replaced and corrected and ignored and moved around. Then, on the hottest, stickiest day the class had ever seen, Mr. Wright, in the middle of a lesson about commas, said, Let's give punctuation a vacation. As the kids cheered and headed for the playground to cool off, the punctuation marks stared at one another in disbelief. Is this the thank you we get? asks a question mark. Well, puffed an exclamation point. Now, now, said a comma. We should take a vacation, said a period. They'll never learn how much they need us. It's 11 now, said a colon. Let's leave at 11.02. Great, said the exclamation point. Don't leave without us, yelled the apostrophes. Swoosh! Punctuation rushed out the door. Swoosh! They rushed back in to grab the quotation mark 
who were too busy talking to pay attention. When Mr. Wright's class returned from the playground, they couldn't wait to find out what had happened in Chapter 4 of their book, A Scooper Dog Detective. Mr. Wright opened his mouth to read aloud, but then he stopped and stared. This is where the punctuation is missing. Oh, oh, where could it be? B, yes, maybe punctuation took a vacation. We are in big trouble now. Mr. Wright was right. Nothing made sense without punctuation. Did you miss us? How much? Why couldn't we take a vacation sooner? Guess who? Mr. Wright's class. Hotel, USA. Zip code 46734. So punctuation had indeed taken a vacation. And guess what? They sent postcards to the class. A couple days later, the school secretary delivered a small bundle of postcards to Mr. Wright's class. They were postmarked, take a break, Lake. We flopped, we plopped, we stopped, we stay. Put in our lounge chairs, we are happy thinking of our complete thoughts, thoughtfully yours, sentence stopper. Mr. Wright's class, hometown, USA, 46738. And day after day, punctuation sent postcards to Mr. Wright and his class. Here is another, another card for you. Kids, writing this on schedule at 1.15, yummy lunch at 11.55, going swimming at 3 p.m. sharp, the time takers. Mr. Wright class, hometown, USA, 46738. The kids guessed who wrote the postcards and they wanted to write back, but they couldn't write without punctuations. The best they could do was borrow some from Mr. Ringo's class next door where punctuation seemed to be running wild. Dear punctuation, please come back. We need you. We miss you too. Life at school is difficult without you. We cannot do reading, writing, or riddles without punctuation. Chapter 4 of our book is Cooper takes a punctuation nothing made sense absolutely nothing punctuation take a break urgent hurry mr wright's class so the punctuation marks returned to mr wright's classroom to do the job only they couldn't Mr. Rongo and Ruli Punctuation scramble back to their own classroom. We have so much to tell you. Who did you miss the most? It's good to be back in Mr. Wright's class. Commas, periods, exclamation points, question marks, colon, apostrophes, quotation marks, take your places. 10 a.m. Time to study us. Did we enjoy that story? Punctuation takes a vacation. Well, let's go over the purpose of each one of them for a quick second. Punctuation rules. Quotation marks belong at the beginning and end of a word a person speaks. The question mark comes at the end of a question. Use a comma to separate each item in a series of lists. A comma also separates two complete thoughts in a sentence. Use an exclamation point after a word or sentence 
that expresses strong feelings. An apostrophe takes the place of a letter and changes two words into one word. The colon lets you know what time it is. It separates the big guys, that's the hours, from the little guy, the minutes. And the period is the stop sign at the end of a sentence or complete tone. It is also used in abbreviations. So now you know what we use quotation and punctuation marks for. How about writing a story of your own? I'm sure it will make sense. So how about we close by reading? Mm, let's sing. Let's sing as we close. And our closing song is called Shaking Our Scarf. Now, parents, do you have a scarf, a handkerchief? Anything that has four squares, a towel will do, or even a rag. Are we ready? Ready? So let's sing together. We shake our scarves together. We shake our scarves together. We shake our scarves together. Because it's fun to do. We shake them up high. We shake them down low. We shake them in the middle. Because it's fun to do. We throw our scarves together. We throw our scarves together. We throw our scarves together. Because it's fun to do. We throw them up high, we throw them down low, we throw them in the middle, because it's fun to do. Did we like that? And parents, the reason we I did that, they were sitting for a while, so now it's time for them to wiggle a little bit. So we wiggle a little bit by singing an activity song that will make them shake out the sillies. And now, it's time to say goodbye until the next time. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you next time.